Well, she is smart, she's beautiful, talented, religious, and sees her title and crown as vehicles to better serve others and empower them. Meet Carol Arnold, the reigning Miss Utah. I'm going to add my special ingredients. I'm gonna stand back a little bit because Carol Arnold may be the first scientist in a lab coat wearing a crown. It's my elephant's toothpaste. It's all part of her platform as the reigning Miss Utah, helping children see that education is the catalyst to making things happen in their lives. So where will science take you, right? Science is actually taking me to medical school. That's where Kara's heading this fall to become a doctor. In fact, she had to defer a year so she could fulfill her other dream. And that had never dawned on me that I would actually win Miss Utah. I sat back for a minute and just said a prayer, and I said, let thy will be done. If this is what you want for me, this is what will happen. And it happened, and I realized that this was my calling in a way that the Lord wanted me to go out and serve the people of Utah in this capacity. I feel like it's my mission with a crown. <laughs> And through every experience, I just try to share that little bit of light of Christ. Often, she's touched by kids who open up to her about their self-doubt. What does she tell them? To go for it. Because your dreams are bigger than anyone else's opinion of you. Being a pageant girl, there's stereotypes out there that I've been trying to break all year long, and I'm never going to break all of them, and I'm never going to change everyone's opinion. But because of the confidence I have in myself and the confidence that I can give others, that's what will change their life. Little by little, we become the person that the Lord wants us to become and that we grow and we find so many opportunities and doors opened because of the things that we go out and just try. My parents are everything. That's why I am where I am today. It's because of, they told me that I could always do it and I could go for my dreams and I could make those things happen. Miss America was an incredible dream and it was an incredible journey. And I think that was the f coolest part about going into the Miss America experience is that there was 53 girls um, focused on God. That we were there and we could express our feelings about how the Lord works in our own lives. And even at Miss America, I was asked when girls like, a Mormon pageant girl? Yeah, it actually fits my life so well because of, I think, how we raise our children is what we're focused on service. We're focused on shining our lights. Um, everything that I'm doing right now felt so in line with what my patriarchal blessing said. Um, one of the things that it says is it talks about me being a mother and a wife. And I see that that's the biggest calling that I will have in life. Kara will continue pushing STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math until June when she relinquishes her crown as Miss Utah.